Well, I'm a psychotherapist and I'm also a couple therapist and I do lecture at university as well in counselling and psychotherapy. But with cancer patients, I mostly see people to deal with the emotional side of what they're dealing with when they're diagnosed, but also along the trajectory of the disease process. So when they're having treatments or after treatments, when treatments are either successful or not successful, and um, people come along with really wanting to talk about how they're feeling, some of the thoughts they're having, so much focus is on the physical side. So when they've got an opportunity to just be themselves for an hour in their own room, in, in a room to be able to talk about what's going on and how they're managing it. It is important to talk, but it's very important that a person acknowledges within themselves what they're going through, the enormity of it. Um, it is a threat to life very often and that in itself is people can use defences and things that they've learned over the years to get on with it, um, soldier on and that's good at one level but unless the feeling states and the emotions are acknowledged then they can trip us up further down the path. So when people do come along sometimes it's only one or two sessions, other times people need some critical other life events that get triggered when they are faced with dealing with a melanoma diagnosis and the treatment and the recovery phase then earlier life experiences can impact and so they come to the fore and it might take longer and more sessions for people to have. You know, appointments are very time consuming and not just for the patient but also for the family members. So they they have this period of time where you just life is consumed by a diary. Many of them will say, my diary, my appointments. And then they get through and then there's this period of trying to get back into the normal run of life. And it's at that time that people start to feel a sense of flatness maybe, different to who they were before the diagnosis and then like I said they'll come into the room and say to me you know it's been 18 months since I finished treatment two years since I finished treatment I can't understand why I'm feeling flat well I can't seem to get back into the groove of what I was doing and that's when I say to them well what I'm hearing is that your emotions your feelings trying to take in and synthesize the enormity of what you've been through isn't just a get on with it it, it, it catches up with us eventually and that's what I was saying this morning in, um, in, in our talk is that the psychological healing often takes a little bit longer than the physical healing. We can have surgery, we come out of that surgery, have the stitches removed and we think oh that's healed but inside adjusting to what I've been through usually takes a little bit longer.